Hi everyone, my name is Aero Van Dyke. I'm the Collections Technician for Natural History here at the Manitoba Museum. And today, we're going to talk about moles. Did you know that star-nosed moles live in the province of Manitoba? They aren't often spotted, as they spend most of their time underground and underwater, but they are sometimes collected from the southeast part of the province. These fascinating creatures have remarkable adaptations that help them succeed in their environment. The star structure that you can see on the tip of the nose is an extremely sensitive sensory structure. It's not used for smelling, but for feeling things in its environment. With the help of the star, the mole can instantly decide whether what it's found is a tasty insect treat or something completely inedible. If you look at the shape of the star-nosed mole, you'll notice that the body is a lot like other burrowing mammals, tapered at the front, wide at the back, and with these big, broad feet. This doesn't just make them ideal for digging, but also for swimming. And in fact, they do a lot of their hunting underwater, and their tunnels will often open directly into small ponds in wetlands. Uniquely among mammals, star-nosed moles can actually smell underwater, and they do this by blowing bubbles out of their nose onto submerged surfaces, and then they sniff the bubbles back up once they've picked up scents from the environment. This can tell the moles if there's prey nearby or if it's time to try their luck at another spot.